Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So in this video right here, I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a Phoenix app. So this is an actual Phoenix app and we actually use this uh, in production in real life. Uh, let me explain a little bit about what it does. So what this thing does is it serves up a Linux container and virtual machine images so that we can boot up, um, you know, containers for your applications, for our customers' applications. And basically, we created this project. You know, we have a blog post about why we created it. You can go ahead and read that. Um, it's open sourced, which means you can actually create a fork of this uh, and deploy it yourself. So you can use this as like a test uh, app that you can use. So it has a few features. It's got a uh, user sign up and it uses uh, S3 storage buckets to store all of the images that you're seeing here. Um, and obviously it uses live view. That, that's what comes out of the box of Phoenix. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you, uh, you know, I have an empty AWS, uh, you know, region here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from the top and I'm going to create a new infrastructure uh, using our infrastructure builder. And then basically we're going to provision that infrastructure and deploy our, uh, our imaging server. So um, we need S3 and a database. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click use on the AWS uh, bootstrap. And we already have networking, compute, and database. So I'm going to use, let's say, polar demo. And I'm going to add the S3 bucket here. I'm going to hit next here, and then I'm going to go ahead and modify some of the stuff we've got here. So I'm going to do a single node deployment. So I'm going to remove these two, ex two extra nodes. And the rest looks OK. So I just need to edit my uh, SSH key. So I have, um, so if I want to be able to, you know, SSH into my cluster, then I need to add the SSH key. Uh, the rest should be okay. So I'm going to hit next over here and I'm going to create a uh, a repository here. So once I click that, you'll see that it actually goes ahead and creates this repository for me. And it gives me a checklist here of, you know, what's going to happen when I actually do this deployment. All right. So I'm going to hit uh, open new tab here so I can see the repository created. So you can see here, you're going to need to connect this to a Terraform uh, cloud account. So you can set that up for free. We have a video here that you can just click and see how to do that. I'm going to go to my GitHub apps. I'm going to click configure on my GitHub repository. So what I'm going to do is basically uh, I'm going to, you know, uh, connect this repository to my Terraform account. So I'm going to choose Polar Demo, hit save. Then what I'm going to do here is in Terraform, I'm going to click create new workspace, Click on GitHub app. I'm going to choose my uh, organization. There it is, Polar Demo. I'm going to click Create. So I'm just going to choose Broadway here as my project. That's what I'm using for my testing purposes. And it's going to ask me for a few variables. So we have a video that talks about all of this, how to set up the variables. So here I'm going to put in AP Southeast 1. Identifier is just Polar Demo. It's fine. I'm going to hit save over here, start a new plan, and that will essentially start to actually do the infrastructure provisioning. All right, so it's done planning. So I'm going to click confirm and apply. So now this is basically going to actually provision our server. All right, so we can see the checklist here popping up. All right, so the database has been provisioned. We have all green. We're ready to go to the next step. So now we need to add the repository that we forked in here. So we're going to click connect. I'm going to hit configure installation. I'm going to click on Upmaru stage and I'm going to add polar here. Hit save. All right. And now we're going to see the setup button if I hit that. All right. So once we click configure builder, we'll be able to choose which build pack we want to use. So obviously we're going to use the base Elixir Phoenix. We're going to choose PostgreSQL, S3 bucket, public. So we're going to need a public access uh, to the bucket because, you know, the images are public, uh, publicly available. Uh, so yeah, we're going to hit next and it's going to output us a configuration here. And once we've reviewed everything, 
we can then hit next and click on let's go to create a pull request and then all we're going to do now is we're going to review the code and merge and once we merge it's going to start deploying so let's head over to here i'm going to take a look at the pull request so we can see here it's pretty much generated all the configuration code for us yeah so let's go ahead and merge this and see it deploy I'm gonna hit merge all right so it's done building now it's gonna actually do the deployment all right so it's detected the first deployment we can now go ahead and configure the deployment and so this is the actual um cluster that was generated by terraform that when we ran the terraform provisioning so we're going to actually deploy to xandar dhz here so i'm going to click uh develop click web click xandar dhz click next and here i'm going to do polar.artello.network so this is just going to be um a you know a demo of domain that i'm using so now i'm going to go ahead and configure cloudflare so i'm going to add a record paste in the ip address that i got and here i'm going to say polar so now if i want to make sure that i've configured everything correctly i can click validate you should see a green checkbox all right so once we're on the installation page uh, now the app is pretty much almost ready to deploy so you can actually see that it has provisioned for us the s3 bucket uh, along with the database so everything is pretty much all done and set up for us all we have to do now is add the variables and for this app uh, in particular there is uh, you know some variables that are mandatory so what i'm going to do here i'm going to add a default cdn host so this is just a demo so we're going to put example.com as our cdn and you know we're not going to serve any real traffic anyway so this should be okay so that's pretty much all we need to do uh what we can do next is we can just uh hit sync and what this is going to do is it's going to create the container for us um, as you can see here it's booting up a container all right so everything seems to have uh, been set up successfully you can see here it's also connected to the database uh, successfully and it's run the migrations so let's actually have a look at our actual app so i'm going to do polar.artello.network and there it is so this error is happening because we didn't add the domain to the, the host so i'm going to go back and add one more variable so i'm going to go and do that and uh, there it is so phx host uh, we just need the domain name hit save and then i'm going to activate it and uh well, let's deactivate this container and then reactivate it all right so i'm going to go ahead and reload give it a few seconds all right here we go so everything is now working and there are no errors you can see here we can click sign in sign up um yeah so everything is now working there are no more errors and you know as you can see here when you go to the dashboard it prompts us to sign up that's pretty much it uh, and uh, you know if you want to learn more you can actually go to our discord um, and you can uh, ask me any questions i'm also on twitter um, so yeah uh, feel free to sign up and uh, deploy your own phoenix application and uh, if you have any questions we'd be more than happy to help you thank you and i'll see you all in the next one